What is going on, guys? My name is Free Golden God. Going back to Classic Burn. Let's get into it. So, Classic Burrows Burn. Uh, today, we're going to play pretty much the same list we've been playing for the past few leagues, past few months. It's, in my opinion, one of the best configuration for Burrows Burn right now. Uh, I've been playing this list exactly because I just feel it's like the best sideboard in the main, in my opinion, of course. You can have uh, disagreements, tweaking one or two main deck card, one or two sideboard card, but I think at the very least 70 cards on 75 cannot change. Um, so yeah, Boros Burn, classic version. Uh, if you're a fan of the channel, you already know what we we're going to do, so you just want me to stop talking and play some magic. If it's your first time on the channel, well, hello, my name is Frigal Ngad, and I post a lot of Modern Burn content on YouTube, so if you're interested into that, please consider subscribing to the channel, getting almost to 2,000 subscribers, very close, and also if you like the video, you can uh, put a little thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below to uh to support me finally if you're feeling a little more generous i have the patreon the link is in the description in my patreon you have access to a sideboard guide for boros burn updated every single month yes it's coming soon for the month of january don't you worry and uh yeah that's pretty much it i hope you enjoy let's get into the league round number one <clears throat> We are on the plate. Very nice. Uh, this hand is on the weak side. Playing in, say, Luris. Uh, so we have 0 1 drop and two security critics. Kind of awkward. So I think we're going to mold this one. Okay, already better. We're going to keep. Uh, we don't know if the blaze is going to be good, but we know we're, we want to play the Adol on turn 2, so I think I'm going to put the blaze to the bottom. Because, yes, Slurus tends to be a creature deck, usually. Um, but most of the time, we want to play the Adol on turn 2, so... Uh, we might not draw a third land. Um, we'll see. Alright. Um, Merc Tide, I'm guessing. Um, I think I'm killing the DRC, it just provides really too much value, and um, I think we can still be fine throwing three damage to the DRC. Fortunately, they have a removal. Okay, so keeping the blaze would have been good. But that's fine. Okay, really good top deck. Uh, let's try to swing. If they fetch shock, remove... I don't really know. Okay, so this is Grixis the Shadow. Yeah, I don't know why why I said uh, Merc Tide, where they have uh, Luris. So yeah, this is more more uh, likely Grixis the Shadow. Mm -hmm. Or uh, just Grixis Luris, but the Shadow is really more popular right now. Kind of an awkward state because we don't want to give them a free shadow. Um, yeah. So I think the play here is to helix the shadow. Uh, next turn, put Laris in our hand. Pretty sure they're going to have a drum the lock for this. Oh, just down. Okay. Well, I guess that's fine. We trade uh, uh, dress down for this. K. 
Okay, bolt. So I think I'm just putting Loris into my hand. I could potentially just... Yeah, I think I'm, I'm actually gonna do this, so... Pass turn. Um, end of turn, I'm just gonna put everything in their face and hopefully we can draw a 3 damage burn spell. Okay. Guess we have to go all in here. Bit awkward, but um, yeah. And if we don't have a burn spell on top or they have a counter spell, it's GG. Okay. Do you have John the Lock? Oof, got lucky here. They saw zero copies of John the Lock. Really, really lucky. So, all of these, no skull cracks. Uh, Palm is usually f like fine, awkward, fine. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not, depends. Uh, if they don't have John the Lock because we've got Sanctifier and Vecon to play, it can be good. Uh, but it's not like our best card because they run counter spells and discard spells. Uh, I'm cutting one blade. We don't want uh, the full four. I'm going to cut some skewers. Some Ragvan Helixes. Uh, damn, in this matchup, I'd rather just have the Helix over the Skewers. I think we're going to try something like this on the draw, the Flecken Palm, and on the play, maybe take, take them out. The Skewer is definitely uh, not a good card against a discard spell deck. Um, this hand is pretty great. If we draw our second line, our second white line, uh, this hand is really good. So I think I'm gonna try it. And we've got a path or another removal spell uh, to give us a little more time. Okay, that's fine. That's not a ragavan. The thing is with the shadow. You can take a little more, uh, you can be a little more patient than other decks when playing against it. So, that's what we're going to do. So, I think I'm just grabbing Foundry and I'm probably going to kill the DRC next turn with this Roof Bolt. I'm just going to let them hurt themselves if they want to play the Shadow. And I'm going to try to find my second white for Sanctifier. So I'm basically just really going to take my time here. Okay, they've got nothing. Okay, it's not too bad. Um, I think I'm going to play it and give myself the option to be able to path a creature. I think I'm just hitting for one here. That's fine. I don't I don't mind. Okay. So you see we literally did zero damage to our opponent. They already took six 
uh, just from their own spells. So, okay, that's pretty bad for us. We don't want them to have uh, too much cards. Um, we're really looking for this second white source. Uh -huh. Okay, idle one. Um, just kill this pass. Again, I'm really looking to win with those sanctifiers. I'm just going to be a little more patient. Eventually, I'm going to have to do something because they're going to be able to play Lyris and bring back their stuff, so it's going to be a bit awkward. Thoughtseize, unfortunate. They can take Path. Take the charm. Okay. Interesting. So they they afraid of uh, of just getting burned out, which I understand, but I think path is a little more valuable here. We hit pretty much our the card we wanted to see. Uh so we're in business right now. Another Expressive. Okay, so you have a removal spell for this. Mm -hmm. That's fine. That's fine. Just going to play uh, the second one and pass. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. Um. Have a couple options here. Hmm. I think I'll go for path. Uh, idle one and go. We're almost there where we can attack and cast all of our burn spells and win. Lurus to the hand, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to go. I could go Helix Ragavan, swing with both. Uh, but I think that's a bit risky. The other thing that I could do is Lava Spike your face. Then, if they play Lurus plus something else, we Helix and. Uh, they would be down to one. So we can swing with Sanctifier. Uh, I think I like this plan. So the only thing that uh, is bad for us right now is Dress Down. But we have Helix to cover our butt. So try to go for, swing for two. They do have a dress down. Okay, they fetch shock for it. 
Very nice. And now we win. All right. That was pretty easy. So I don't think they're playing force. Pretty sure they're not. All right. They didn't think they were playing Snapcaster Mage. All right, Sanctifier is really good. As you can see, I was really being patient. Maybe a little, little too patient there. But in the end, uh, Sanctifier is a really good card in the matchup. So let's go to our next round. All right, round number two. We're on the play again. Cool, with a very powerful hand. Pretty much the... Uh, Turn hand you want to see. Goblins. Okay. So no vial, please. Pet shock. I'm good with that. I am really good with that. So. Blazer dude. Swing for two. Down to ten. <laughs> That's pretty fast. And they shock again, and I think this game is almost over, and it is over turn three. That was pretty quick. All right. That was a pretty quick game. <laughs> okay, so they are the Gruul, a John, rather, a cob goblin combo. So, I think Sanctifier is fine. Eidolon is meh against those goblins because, uh, certainly on the draw because they have Vile and um, Dorks. Skullcrack is alright. Not the best card. Leave it, leave in one, I guess. Um, <clears throat> because they have uh, Siege Gang. Uh, uh, that can drain us. Usually the matchup is a little more closer than game one. But there's definitely a com configuration that is worse against us, which is only the um, Ragdoll's version uh, that is way more consistent, and the mana base does not hurt them whatsoever. Um, this hand is really something. Um, like, we could just try to go everything face. We already have uh, 15 damage. They're probably going to shock once or twice. Uh... But, you know, if we don't draw a second line, this hand is pretty bad. It's really an interesting hand whatsoever, but it's not like... I think it's a little too risky here to keep. Ugh. Yeah. I think we go to five. Okay, that's better. So, bottom. I think we bottom the... Swiss spear. Our creatures are not that good because they usually can put a lot of creatures in our face um, early on. Okay, vile. Cavern of Souls. Sure. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> well. Okay, so just going to swing, see what they want to do. If they block, I'm fine with it. You want to activate this in response. Uh, sure. Yeah. 
Ah, okay. I don't mind this. Um, uh, bolt. Yep. Okay, they had another one. That's some good value. Um, okay, let's trade with our guide, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, just do that. I don't mind them drawing a land, so I'm just going to pass here. Another line on top, they fetch it away. Um, in response to the fetch, I'm going to path. So we're in a bit in trouble here. We don't have a lot of uh of burn. Let's uh, charm you. I think I'm just putting Lurus into my hand, uh, and hopefully they won't have the another Snoop. They can win with other cards, um, the one that, the Gruel one and the Ragdos one that has Persist. But, yep, do you, do you have it? No, okay. Uh, yes, I say go. Sure. Doesn't really matter since this is legendary. So, yeah. You cannot copy this. So, I think I'm just taking it. Yep. I'm just healing. Helixing face. Need to deal damage to the face. Okay. Gonna say go. So if I don't die here, and next turn I draw a 1 mana burn spell or a land, I win. So I just need them to whiff one turn. Yep. Big six. Okay, they really flooded out here. They have so many lines. Like, I passed them once, but they have billion lines. Okay, so I guess we have it. Unless you have something in response. All right. I think we got lucky uh, game one and two. Game one, we just had, like, perfect hand, and game two... They drew so many lines, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. Minus one, I guess, for the path, but seven lines in seven turns is pretty crazy. All right, so let's get around number three. Okay, uh, round number three on the play again. Pretty lucky. Um, Not the best hand, because we're going to deliver... <clears throat> We have a lot of burn, but we're going to deliver pretty slowly. Since they have, we have three two mana cost uh, burn spell. But I don't think it's really... A, it's pretty slow, but we're on the play, so I don't think it's a mole here. It's pretty close, though. Um, I think... We can probably kill them by turn 5. 
Depends if we draw another land. Okay, Yawgmoth combo. So everything is going to go face. Not really gonna bother their creatures. So I'd like to draw one other land and maybe another one. Like actually, if if my next two draws are two lands, I'm happy. <clears throat> okay, let's charm your face. Nice. Love a spike. So if I draw land next turn, I sh this should be game. Depends if they have something here. Do you have a skull crack to counter life gain? That's pretty cool. Can't do much right now. Land. Close enough. Okay, pass turn. So it's pretty unlikely that they can do anything here. Um, we've had skull crack. We're at twenty life. They cannot pay a million life here. Um, Okay, they're going to grab the uh, aristocrat. So, uh, yeah, yeah. We're just gonna skull crack in response. They're going to be able to kill a couple more creatures. Um. Okay, so now they can do that, all of that instant speed. I think I have to helix this, because if I don't, they just they can just kill me at my upkeep. Uh... Or I can just call crack face, and then if they do add a Mokia yeah, Helix, but they can still do that, all of that in response. So yeah, I think I have to Helix the artist. It feels bad, but don't really have a choice. Because with two young wolves, they can basically go infinite and kill me. Uh, but with one, they need to sacrifice another creature every single time. <clears throat> so that's going to be a little more hard.
I think we're losing anyway. Um, just because they might like they drew so many cards that they're probably going to have it next turn. Um, but I think we needed to do that. It's long here, but it's it's the combo that they gotta do, so um well, now they don't have any more creatures to sacrifice, so yeah, they sacrifice the blood artist. They go to seven. Now they're going to let resolve the young wolf. And yeah, I think uh, I think we're dead here. Like they have nine cards in hand. Um, pretty good chance we're just dead. What? Okay, that's a weird play. Uh, they have a another um, cord. Okay, so just in response, I skull crack you, but it doesn't matter if they have another artist. We're dead anyway. Okay, it's fine. Yeah. Gain zero life. Uh, so next turn, we're dead. Alright. That was very close. We were at one turn away to kill them. Uh, hello. Okay. So path. Crack. Uh, thing rolling vortex. From what I remember, I used to think it was fine. Sanctifier, no, because all their things are green, and my sideboard plan was to take out the four Goblin guides and two Swiss spears. If I remember correctly, honestly, I think two sanctifier and Vec is probably better over two. Swiss beers, the only value that it provides us is um, we can block Yagmoth and we can also um, prevent the uh, other person's creature to come back from the grave. So <clears throat> I think that's fine. Like, yes, I would like to have a Swiss beer now, but. Honestly, Swiss Spear is not going to get in for a lot of damage. Because they just have a million army of uh, minions. Okay, so we're going to go... Alter Face. Um, what is this? Okay, uh, idle and go. Okay, they kill my idle and. Um, rolling vortex, go. 
I'd like to draw land next turn. That would be nice. Got the Yagmoth. No land, but we do have the kill. Uh, Borsharm, kind of turn, and then skewer Lightning Bolt. All we need here is to not die. Okay, that's good. Did a good sign. This desperation. Okay, take everything. That is fine. I'm going to do Helix and that should do it. All right. Honestly, They just have too many green stuff. I think like two sweet spears of Vendera, I don't really like them. It's probably better. <clears throat> um, all right. Okay, good stuff. I think I still want to love a spike because we want to kill them as fast as possible. The play and draw in this matchup is pretty huge. Okay, good sign. Bad sign. <laughs> All right. All right. I see. Um, I think I'm just doing this. Protecting our life total a little more. We have another one, unfortunately. So I need to draw a path. Oh crap. Alright, um how do I do this? Okay, I need to draw a line next turn. Um, untapped land. So I can block the Baloth with final one. So I take six. Uh, all right. Uh, Helix. Now there's no way. Yeah. Pretty close. Pretty close game. So if I, if they literally didn't gain four life, I bore charm them here and the uh, game is over. Yeah, if I was on the play, I think this game would have been ours because Love Spike turn one, turn two. Blaze, turn three, blaze. Um and they couldn't they would be stuck at two forests for a while. 
Uh, yeah. All right. Pretty close game. Let's get around number four. All right. Round number four. We're on the plate for the fourth time. Uh, getting lucky with those dice roll. Luris. Think we can. Think we can keep this. Honestly, it's uh. Not that much of a risk, even if we don't draw a second lantern two, we can still do a lot of things. Um, and if we do draw a second lantern two, I think this game is a win. Of course, depends which Lord's deck it is. Mm -hmm. Maybe another shadow. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think I'm just going to go old swing. Aaron Mesa. Okay. That is interesting. Hmm. Ragdos mid range. Uh-huh. Okay, Mardu, the Shadow. Fortunately, Inquisition, they can take my idol in. Um, but their DRC does not have Delirium, so if we draw a line, we can force them to block putting them at one and then swing with guide forcing them to block okay not quite but they don't know what we drew so they technically must block here they could take the risk if they really want to because if i drew a line you're just dead yeah Okay, uh, let's just pass turn. So I'm guessing this is Mardu the Shadow, but I'm not sure. Okay, I'm just gonna cast Helix. They cannot Kaya's Guile anymore. I was uh, afraid of a Kaya's Guile, but now that they tap the swamp, they cannot Kaya's Guile anymore. So I think their best play here is probably like Devil's Shadow. Or shadow another inquisition. So block my guy, take my burn. Um, depending on what they have in their hand, this game could still be a game. Prismatic ending and shadow. Thought sees, okay. Interesting. I'm not sure if I would have cast the Thought Seas, but it didn't matter in the end. So I'm guessing they're the Shadow, honestly, uh, just the way they, they play their lines and stuff. Guessing this is Mardu the Shadow, so even though they have Prismatic Ending, I'm still gonna bring in the Sanctifier. Uh, this. We don't know if they have Kaya's Guile, but I'm not going to. Get the uh, skull cracks. Um, let's just take out one blaze. So, yeah, I don't think it's like a mid range Mardu. Could be though. Okay, everything looks good except for my lines that might hurt me a bit. Um, but I think we can still keep. Yeah, it's the shadow for sure. 
they were way too aggressive with their mana base. Um, just going to pass. Don't really want their Ragavan to connect, so... fine <laughs> yeah okay uh, they had a pretty good hand ragavan inquisition ending okay taking the root bolt So I'm guessing they probably have Shadow in hand because they just fed Shock, Shock. So we're going to see. Going to challenge plus min calm. Okay. I think I'm probably going to path this Ragavan. And I'm going to keep Pump for a Shadow. And also prevents them from having like letters value. Okay. Um, okay, let's swing. I uh, think I'm passing here. This Dante and Blossoming come are rather annoying. I have to wait for them to tap their white. I don't think it's going to happen though. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. So in response, I'm going to... Uh, Kill the Dante, so that way my Goblin Guide is going to hit my Grave. And I can bring it back with Lurus. Discarding a land. Probably gonna be Lurus time. Yep. Fast turn. Blossoming Calm is really annoying. Um, very good card against Burn. Okay, I'm just gonna discard. Uh, like. Palming the Kroxa might be a way that we win this game. Uh, but I think just discarding this is fine. Top deck Sanctifying Vec, come on. Goblin guy. So we're probably going to discard the Goblin guy. Uh, so just play the Lurus. We know their last card is the Calm. And I'm going to discard my Guide. Pass turn.
So I need to tell deck a path here. We'll only have one path left in my deck though. Okay. Um cast this, suspend this. Um say go, we're gonna discard the monastery. Walk. Nice. You just play it. Out of the blue to just surveil okay and they put that in their grave okay so i'm just gonna draw a card first because this might be our only chance to kill the cruxa uh but if i don't draw like a lightning bolt I just want to kill the DRC instead, so let's see what I draw first. Uh, spike doesn't do anything. So with that in mind, I'm just going to bolt the DRC. Okay. Bring back a guide. Swing for five. We're going to discard the lava spike to um to the Kroxa. So we take three less damage. They're gonna go up to seven. Very interesting that they did not play Lurus in their hand, like all of this time could have been a good opportunity to do that. They're just always playing the card that they have, but I think Lurus would have been better in some turns. Okay, they don't swing with a Kroxa, that's a good sign for us. Lurus into the hand. Found path. Path. Bolt. Okay, let's go for uh, Monastery Swiss Spear. Um, so let's just uh they they have we have fix proof yeah an interesting play is that we could swing with both if they block the cruxa they go to 5 we can bolt them lava spike uh no they're going they're going to attack so we're going to lose the bolt but uh we could bolt the crux up perhaps, but they can play it back next turn. I think no matter what we want to attack, the reason is we want to deal two damage in so that we have a chance of drawing a burn spell and winning the game. Because next turn they're going to have a full board. So... 
Uh, we don't want to die though, so we have to. Oh, I'm so dumb. Before combat, I could have lava spike my face, swing with everyone, and then bolt upkeep, and I win the game. Yeah. Damn. Too light. Okay. Uh, let's keep Swiss Spear in defense. To block the Kroxa. So all we have to do is top deck a burn spell next turn. Yeah, I, I, I missed lethal, fortunately. And honestly, that could cost us the game, because if I don't top deck a burn spell next turn, I just pretty much lose. Uh, yeah, if only I, I saw it like one second before going to combat. Okay, so we have to to block here just to not die to lightning bolt. And we know they're gonna play Lurus anyway, so if they play Lurus, we can if we top deck path, we can path swing with guide. Um we've got a couple top decks. So all we need to do is top like a burn spell. Um, or path. Guess they didn't concede, so we don't we don't draw a burn spell. Oh my god, so close. Uh so close. I'll, uh, if I saw the play, like, ah, uh, I had, I just missed lethal there. Feels really bad. Um, might want to bring this in. Just for the blossoming columns and the bubbles. Feels weird doing that, but I think might be worth a shot. Uh, because the columns are really annoying. But I do need Sanctifier. Sanctifier is like our best card in the matchup. Just Croxa is just a super annoying card. I could have uh, cut the Deflecting Poem, I guess. But too light. Okay, that's a mole. Okay. Oof, not the best hand, but we're going to give it a go. Like, we have an Inquisition, our hand is... We just don't have a hand anymore. <laughs> we need to top deck. Okay, guess that's something. Honestly, it feels bad a bit, but I think the plan is just doing everything mm -hmm. face. If they have discard spells, I'm just losing all my value. Um, Hope they get a line from this Ragavan. 
nice. Oh, they don't have Blossoming Calm. They have Inquisition. Yep. To counter the calm, I could just target the Ragavan. I think that's an idea. That is not too bad. I think I'm gonna do just that. I'm really afraid of the calm just with two mana up. Okay. Um, fetch for a mountain and lures. Go. Ending my Swiss beer. Yep, knowing. Okay, that's uh that's interesting. Okay, they cannot block. Let's see if they want to kill their own creature. Nope, do take two. Uh, three. Pretty much a uh, lightning helix here. Okay, I lose my Lurus. Okay, swing. I think I have to just I think I have to just swing for one. Pass. I know I'm really playing safely. Okay, do you have two Blossoming Calm? <sighs> okay. 
yeah, I knew, I knew they had it. The way they were playing was just too, like, uh, either they were really um, telegraphic that they were having it, that they had it, or they just had it. So was just playing around it. My plan was to wait until they tap out for something like the Kruxa in response. I can Boar Charm or cast two burn spells on the same turn. Uh, if I did that, they could have like uh, deflecting palm my Boros Charm response, sacrificing this. But um, yeah, I think since they cannot block my Swiss Spear, uh, yeah. The other option I was considering to have lethal this turn is give my Swiss Spear double strike. So that way, even if they have Blessing of Calm, I don't target them and I deal four. With my Swiss Spear, they get a 4 and they're dead. But if they have a removal spell, they would have killed it. Uh, so I just decided to swing for 1, bring them down to 1, see what happens. So yeah, pretty pretty uh, close game there. Pretty happy the way I handled it. Let's go to our last game, see if we can make a little 4-1. Right. Final round, we are on the play again. Uh, so 5-on-5. Five five. Uh, that's uh, very lucky, and this is what you're looking for for those close matchups. I um, think I'm keeping this a bit like the same reason I kept uh, our hand few few hands ago, just because if I don't if I draw my second line, honestly, this hand is really good, and if I don't, I can still do a lot of things with the hand. So, uh, and I'm the, on the play. Uh, double creature on the play with burn spells to uh, to back them up is really good. Another Luris bubble deck. Maybe another Death Shadow deck. Okay. Okay, that's not a bad draw. Okay, it looks like another Grixis Death Shadow. Push. Okay, that's uh, that's interesting. Not a lot of push in uh, in modern right now. Okay, definitely the shadow deck. <laughs> now uh, there is no surprise. Like you're always like, oh, it could be uh, Grixis uh, mid range, Grixis control, but no, dress down is definitely the shadow. To the shadows. Okay, so we're going to bolt. And secure. So they're locked. Uh, we double block with our two creatures and then we try to win with our burn spells next turn. And they cannot cast Dress Down, also. Okay. 
You can just block one, actually. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Um, so, all of that. And I think I did this, thing like that. I face a lot of this shadow in my past uh, few leagues. So considering getting uh, maybe a fourth Sanctifier and Vec or a third Deflecting Palm or a third Path, um, Sanctifier and Vec is like the best card in matchup. Like it's just so good. You just have to play it. They most of the time will not have an answer, or their answer will be really awkward with like dress down and another spell. Um, it gets rid of their graveyard. It's a beater that cannot be blocked. It blocks everything. It's just like so good. I think I maybe should do a video just on the best shadow matchup because it's really a complicated matchup for uh, both players. I am myself a best shadow player from time to time, and playing Gansburn is really you really have to think uh, every uh, life total you've got. Um, but I think. Uh, because they're not playing Stubborn Denial anymore, they're on 4 Drowned Lock, uh, the matchup is better because honestly the difference between a 2-mana counter spell and a 1-mana counter spell is pretty huge. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, this hand is a no-brainer keep. No discard spell. All we need to do is not see a discard spell, and we should be good. Spell Pierce, that's fine. Yeah, they're playing Spell Pierce as well um, in the sideboard. But with this hand, we don't really care about Spell Pierce. So they need to fetch Shock Inquisition. Sure. And also, we just need to not fill our graveyard. And if we don't fill our graveyard, the red drawn the lock is literally useless. And also, the spell pierce with our hand is <laughs> not that good because we've got a million lands. Okay. Just gonna say go. Uh, why would you fetch before the Goblin Guy trigger? You had a free scry. Holy heat. Okay, so this is gonna get rid of our idol on. <clears throat> okay, so now they could have dress down plus heat. Ah, uh, that's a that's a good answer. Pretty lucky because usually you don't play like more than two in the sideboard, so they got one of the two. Come on, Morph Charm, punish.
play Adolin. So next turn, I'm going to put Lurus to my hand, and the other turn after that, Lurus plus Sanctifier. I think I'm not attacking with Swiss Spear anymore. Uh, just don't wanna. I'm not really ready to see a shadow. Okay. Let's go, Lyrus. I think I'm just saying go. Don't really want to see a shadow here. Um. So, yeah. Okay. So they've got a spell pierce and an unknown card. Um... If the last card is drawn the lock, I understand the play, so that way we have three cards in our grave and Lurus can be countered that way. Okay, nice. So I know um, I can I could go for idle on here, but honestly my life total is kind of getting low, so I think I'd rather just play my sanctifier, getting rid of uh, their grave, well some cards in the grave, and getting me our var grave at the same time. Um, so yeah. So now they need to top deck a land so they can play Lurus plus Spellbomb. But we have Boar's Charm, so they won't be able to play Lurus, Spellbomb, and activate. So when they're going to activate, we can Boar's Charm response and prevent giving us Indestructible. So yeah, we're good. That is bueno. It's pretty funny that uh, we've got six lines because we can charm Helix and pay the spell pierce. <laughs> oh no, okay, do we just have lethal? Oh, we just have lethal. Boring. So boring. Would have been just so funny. So my plan was, let's say I draw land, uh, helix this, swing with both, then they uh, kill either of the two, Borrow Charm, they Spell Pierce, we can pay the tax. So yeah. Look at our lands, we're almost, uh, we're casting a Inferno Titan next turn. All right. By the way, uh, I am undefeated against Death Shadow. I in my four last leagues, I played against it four times, and I didn't lose once. So I would say I got a little lucky, but you know, usually Burn is a slightly favorite in in the matchup if you know what you're doing. So yeah. So let's go for a small wrap up with uh, Burl's Burn. Alright, so 4 1, obviously, a uh, very good score. Um, playing the same list. Uh, if you want, you could change, like, honestly, I think at least uh, 57 of those cards are locked into place. 
you could change like a helix aligned and add something else. Maybe one's called crack. I I'd like having two main though. And in our sideboard, I would say, honestly, two path, two vortex, three smash, two palms, three sanctifier are locked into play. Similars as well. Honestly, just this one, you can put whatever you want. I decided to put an extra skull crack. You can put an extra palm, an extra path, an extra smash, whatever you want. Um, honestly, don't know what, what, what else to say. Good burn list. I'm having really good results uh, lately with this burn list. It's, it's the same for the past like few months, but honestly, why would you change something that is good? Um, really no point to it. The minigame hasn't changed that much. We're prepared to face a lot of matchups. Um, yeah, still not. I, would, I wouldn't say it's a, in the best three or four best decks in modern, but definitely uh, amount, among the tier 1, 1 1.5 in the modern. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. It has been a GG for a Goblin Guide with Burl's Burn. I'll see you next time in another video. See ya. Bye-bye, guys.